Hello, <laughs> my name is Leonie and I am a new BTS ARMY. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my previous video but I pretty much explained that BTS have pretty much been my life for the past two months and I can pretty much confirm that they will be my life for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I have spent a ridiculous amount already on this new obsession. I have probably spent in the hundred dollars worth of merchandise, some which have not arrived yet, but some which did arrive, as you can see. I have decked out my phone in BTS. I mean, I know that there is a Samsung Galaxy BTS phone. <laughs> I spent so much already. This is, this is my edition. <laughs> so I suffice to say that yes, I am a little bit obsessed. I also got this BTS Map of the Soul 7 army box. Here is a little snippet of me unboxing that. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, cue the montage. I swear I think I have enough posters to last me a lifetime just from that army box alone. I'm still waiting for some more merch to arrive like the army bomb. I also ordered the Learn Korean with BTS box so I'm really excited for that to arrive. And of course over the weekend BTS had their Map of the Soul 1 online concert. My first BTS concert and oh my god like I cannot. I cannot, I cannot express how amazing it was. I think it was like literally one of the best concerts that I've attended, which is saying something because I've been to a lot of concerts and this was online. So I think this definitely ranks really up there. So I initially just bought one day because I felt like I had spent so much already on BTS that you know, watching just one of the concerts on one of the days would be enough. I invited my friend over to my brother's studio and we had a little bit of a watch party. I don't know, after that night, I was like, damn it, I've got to buy the next day too. <laughs> yeah, I just think like, like being my first BTS concert, like I already know these guys go hard. I've seen their choreography videos, I've seen their dance videos, I've seen the hard work that they put into their performances. I knew I was in for a treat and boy I was not disappointed. <laughs> and being a new army, I have to admit like I don't have a comprehensive knowledge of their full discography. I have started like working my way back to their older stuff but it was really nice as a new army that they performed a lot of their older songs and it was kind of great to get an idea of what kind of songs were the breakout ones back then so I really appreciated that and I really appreciate that they don't shy away from their past and yeah I think it was such an amazing experience and to be a part of it was just I feel like I feel I feel very privileged <laughs> and to be honest with you I feel like I'm still recovering from the weekend because I've been so exhausted. It felt like I was at a real concert. I got that energy, that vibe, and obviously it would be nice to see them in real life, face to face at a real concert. But you know, this being my first BTS concert, I'm pretty damn happy. And so in saying that, I wanted to share the happiness, which I know a lot of BTS ARMY already do, but I wanted to share my favorite moments from the concert and talk a little bit about my love for BTS, which has just grown stronger and stronger. Oh, how did this happen? I just feel like there was something missing in my life, that void in my life that BTS have managed to just fill. So I appreciate that, but I also feel like I'm going a bit crazy because it's like, I need to slow it down. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so 
Let's get to my favorite moments from Map of the Soul 1. Okay, so I was like really surprised by how cute the little tiny tans were. The animated figures of BTS. So that was just so adorable that I'm like this close to spending over $200 on the little figurines. And I need someone to talk some sense out of me because I have to save my mortgage next year. I have joined something that has completely changed my life. So obviously On is one of their most standout choreography and dance performances. And can I just say the costume for that performance was absolutely phenomenal. The gold and black was just like, ah! <laughs> and freaking V. His hair. His outfit. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Jimin's pants. I have to say this, like there's just something about Jimin in black skinny jeans that just does something for me. Like I don't know what it is, but his legs. Jimin's legs. Like I wish I could be a pair of jeans that Jimin wears. I just want to wrap myself in his legs. There's just something. I don't know. I don't know. Another part which was like, whoa, was the dance break between No and We Are Bulletproof. Getting into that V formation and just breaking out dancing was just like, what? And the freaking Jimin! <laughs> Jimin is 100% a bias wrecker. I have to say. Another moment was RM and his solo persona. Like this whole sequence of like the podium being lifted up and there's RM just stoic in his pose. Just like staring at the camera. I'm like, yes, do whatever you want to me. <laughs> like I felt like I was watching the president of the free world rapping lines to me and I was like, yes, I will do whatever you say, Mr. President. Another standout moment was of course Jin and his introduction to the camera, Mr. Worldwide Handsome, his <sighs> always iconic. I love that he did it on the second day as well and Jungkook was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> completely like ruined that moment for Jin, which was hilarious. I also really enjoyed Sugar and his solo performance of Shadow. I wanna be a rust, I wanna be the top, I wanna be a rock star. I want it on my between Shadow and We Are Bulletproof, The Eternal, I think it's like my favorite song of the album. If I had to choose a bias, it would probably be Sugar because there's just something about him and his performance and him as a person. I just feel like there's something really deep with him, especially with him being like an introvert and shy and joining Big Hit initially as like a producer and starting out with these hardcore raps, but also being able to be fun and cute at the same time. There's just something about Sugar that I, f I feel like I can relate to on a personal level. <sighs> As I said, I'm generally not a huge fan of rap music, but there's just something about Sugar when he raps, it like unlocks something inside my heart. And not even that, like his singing as well. When he sings, I'm like, wow, dude, who are you? <laughs> Of course, we can't forget Jimin and his incredibly breathtaking contemporary dance to Black Swan. <sighs> I swear, I feel like Jimin is the whole package. He has the personality, he has the looks, he's so talented, he can sing, he can dance. He's just, his movement is so elegant. I swear, Jimin is out of this world. Like, is he even real? And of course, we can't forget Jungkook and his <laughs> solo performance of My Time. And I swear, as he gets older, more buttons magically disappear from his shirt. Am I right? Because I've been watching 
like old videos of him and he was like so shy when like his chest was exposed but nowadays like i feel like it's slowly one button at a time <laughs> just pfft. oh and who can forget when he was walking down the stage and we got a glimpse of one of the cameramen just sucking on his lollipop I swear, I was so distracted by the guy with the lollipop that I almost missed John Cook lifting up his shirt and exposing his abs. Jimin and Filter, I think that was like one of the most talked about performances. It was just like out of this world, mind blowing. I'm still kind of like eh about whether or not the costume change was pre recorded or not. Despite that, it was just like mind-blowing. I remember we were like, oh my god, he can do everything. He can even do magic. And then following that with his bloody freaking crotch maneuver. <laughs> Please, Jimin, I'm pretty sure he like ended everyone's life on earth in that moment. I also want to give a shout out to Jin and his solo performance of Moon. The staging was beautiful. I am a huge fan of The Little Prince. It's one of my favorite stories. In fact, I have a Little Prince poster right behind me. So I feel like all my worlds are just like combining into one. It's crazy. Pfft. But yeah, I really appreciated that he had the Little Prince as the staging. And he was the Little Prince. He had the fox, he had the moon, he had the rose. It was beautiful, it was elegant. I love that Jin's a little bit cheesy when he was like kissing the earth at the end and hugging the earth. Um, it was like he was giving us a big hug. V and his solo of Inner Child. That little kid though! I was reading the chats while the performance was going on and people were like, oh my god, it's actually his kid. It's Tay's child. It was really cute. I think I preferred the first day costume better because it matched with the little kid. But I swear, every time V looks into the camera, he like snatches your soul or something. Like what is that stare? Like what is that look? How is that even possible? Why? How? Huh? <laughs> then there was J-Hope's solo stage with Ego. If you need like energy injected into your life, you just have to like watch him. I love that all the members gathered together with him at the end. Let's go, my fellas. And that they were like still singing it even after. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I guess another big thing that I really enjoyed about the concert was all their encore performances. Obviously they didn't plan that much choreography around the encores, which I really enjoyed because then you could just kind of see them relaxing and having fun. And okay, we need to discuss V's arm in that scarf. Like what? <laughs> What a great angle. Props to the cameraman for uh, getting that angle because that was like, that that was something. And Sugar, my bias, I believe he's my bias. I don't know, I think all of them are my bias, but Sugar, soft spot for me. Just seeing him dance in tiny. Oh my God, that was so cute. When V was singing Spring Day, they were all just shoving their microphones in his face and Sugar with the microphone on his head. And then when he tried to like lift Jin's shirt up to expose his abs. Jungkook, the freaking cameraman during the idol performance. He made a lot of people dizzy and sick during that, but it was chaotic and I loved it. I loved how they were like playing with the camera. There was J-Hope's hair when he was trying to give his impactful, deep, meaningful speech and his hair was just like Phew. And there was RM's speech on the second day, which I thought was so profound. I was like smiling when he was like, I am really happy. You know what? 
I'm happy. I'm so happy. And he was talking about how he has no religion, yet he still thanks God. I, there was just something about that that really touched me. And like I said, freaking President Namjoon, am I right? Of course, we cannot forget Jimin and his tears. I remember watching that and I was just like, no, Jimin! Oh, he's <laughs> crying! <laughs> I could feel the BTS ARMY's heart collectively break at that moment because I felt my heart break for Jimin. Just like knowing how hard that they have practiced and wanting to see ARMY in real life to perform for them and not being able to and that this is what they had to do, perform on a stage with no audience but still somehow connect with us. I could feel their heartbreak and their frustration and their disappointment but I think they pulled it off amazingly and I'm so happy that he was happier on the second day. They all were happier on the second day. They were all having fun. So I'm glad. Um, and of course, we are Bulletproof, The Eternal, one of my favorite songs off the album. Um, it's one of the songs that actually made me get into BTS. When I discovered that song and I went onto YouTube and I wanted to like watch a live performance of it and there was no live performance, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I hope that there will be a live performance of this song because it's just so magical. The fact that it talks about how they're pretty much nothing without ARMY. It's really a love song to ARMY, to their fans, and I love the song so much. Um, and I think that's what really made me fall in love with BTS is that, you know, they do all of this to make their fans happy, to make the world a better place. And so actually seeing them get to perform it and have like ARMY on the screen, that was just beautiful. And I'm so glad that we were able to get a live performance of the song. And of course there are some other little happy moments that happened throughout the concert which were really beautiful. I love all their interactions and I love that there's like the seven members so there's always something to look at. But I have to say Jimin really <laughs> keeps stealing my attention. But yeah that's uh, my experience of BTS, Map of the Soul, one, the online concert, my first BTS concert, hopefully not my last, and hopefully I will be able to see them in real life. What I love about BTS is that they bring so much joy to people's lives. They have a good message. It's all about loving yourself. In discovering BTS, in diving more into their videos, watching all their behind the scenes, I've realized like, yeah, these guys are a bunch of good guys. Like not only are they talented, not only are they hardworking, but they all have great personalities and they all have a great message to share with the world. Thank you so much to ARMY for embracing me into this fandom. I'm so glad to be a part of it. I can't wait to share more of my journey into discovering BTS. I promise that I won't just keep making BTS videos. I will have other videos that I have planned. And yes, thank you to BTS for just being amazing and bringing a light into this world, which I think is very much needed with so much going on in the world at the moment. They're good to have in life. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite moments from the concert were down below. I'm sure I've missed lots of things and I hope that you're all doing well despite the pandemic and that you're all staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah, freaking Jimin needs to stop playing with my heart. <laughs>